guys, today I'm going to talk to you about the production of ethylene benzene. But what is ethylene benzene? So let's talk over there. Okay, so basically, uh, thank you. Okay, so basically, the ethylene benzene were made up from a mixture of ethylene and benzene compound, which later I'm going to describe you in detail. But be warned, don't you get weird on me? So let's go. Hey guys, as we know, the ethyl benzene compound were made up from the ethylene and benzene compound. So I'm just gonna go real quick about each of these components. So let's start with the ethylene. Okay guys, as we know, the ethylene belong in the alkyl group. And the ethylene also is an aliphatic, which is a straight change molecular which is the C2H4 okay for the reaction the ethylene is an alkene compound so it usually react with an alkene alcohol or an alkyne compound for the application the ethylene usually used as a raw material for the polymer production such as the polyethylene and the polystyrene. The ethylene also were used as a raw material for the ethylene glycol which is a polyester fiber for textile production. So let's continue to the benzene component. Okay for the benzene first the benzene belong in the benzene group and for the reaction, the benzene usually react with an alkene, alcohol, or an alkyne compound. So, for the molecular structure, the first the benzene is an aromatic compound which consists the benzene ring. The component is the C6H6 and based on the diagram this is the usually diagram that you can find on the internet or the textbook of the benzene molecular structure which is either this one or that one okay for the application of benzene First, the benzene is a carcinogenic and toxic compound which is dangerous for the human and other organic life form. And the three popular production from the benzene that usually the factory use if to make is the ethyl benzene, cumin, and the production of cyclohexane and the benzene also used to produce plastic dyes and glues okay i guess that's for the benzene so let's continue with the ethyl benzene so the ethyl benzene is an aromatic hydrocarbon and the molecular structure is the CAH10 and you can see its structure the common structure that you can find in mostly anywhere uh, is shaped like a hexagon consists of the benzene ring and with a combination of the ethyl and benzene uh, change and forming like this okay for the production of ethyl benzene it usually used for an estophenol, the diethylbenzene, and the ethylene trichinum. Okay, uh, and the ethylbenzene, oh, I'm sorry, the three of these are uh, used as a constituent of asphalt and naphtha and as an antinoc additive in fuel and also gasoline of minor use the most significant is in the coating industry 
as a solvent like mix silings for paint lacquers and varnishes so I guess that's all for the introduction of ethyl benzene and let's continue to the production of the ethyl benzene Hey, as for my part, I want to present, I want to explain about principal reaction. There are three principal reaction for this process, which is alkylation 1, alkylation 2, and transalkylation. Alkylation 1, ethylene will react with benzene and will produce ethyl benzene with the presence of zeolite catalyst. Ethyl benzene from the alkylation 2 will react with uh, ethylene and will produce diethyl benzene. Diethyl benzene from the alkylation 2 uh, will react with ethylene and will produce 2 mole of ethyl benzene. Uh, this process is called transalkylation, which, which is reversible process. Okay guys, we will explain about the production of ethyl benzene using the AB1 process technology. So basically, the AB1 process technology consists of uh, two sections, which is reaction section and distillation section. But we will uh, explain about the only the reaction section only. Okay, at the reaction section, they will consist of the two reactor. Uh, alkylation reactor and trans transkylation reactor okay uh, at the alkylation reactor which is the place for the for the reactant will react which is the fresh benzene and fresh ethylene will react to form the ethyl benzene at here so um, in alkylation reactor which is the reaction to form ethyl benzene. The liquid phase of alkylation reactor consists of multiple beds of zeolite catalyzed um, operating adiabatically. So, operating adiabatically, ad adiabatically means the alkylation reactor is a closed system. So, means the temperature and mass will not transfer in and out from the alkylation reactor. So, Excess benzene is used, and the ethylene will injected before each bed. Yeah, you know, okay. the the multiple injection points of ethylene will improve selectivity and enhance the catalyst stability. So the other product in the alkylation reactor will consist of ethane, ethyl benzene, benzene, and diethyl benzene which is will be fed to the benzene column at the distillation reaction section. So, the In addition, okay? Yeah. In the alkylation reactor, mm -hmm. it reacts completely. Mm. Leaving only the inert constituents of it, such as it is. This inert pass to, uh, to the reactor and, re and remove from the plant at, an, at a convenient point. The transalkylation reactor consists of multiple beds of zeolite catalyst. Conditions are selected to keep the reactor contents in liquid phase. So, next, uh, the production of ethyl benzene will continue at the distillation section. So, that's it. Assalamualaikum. Okay, let's we continue from the alkylation reactor. As we know from the alkylation reactor, they have three compounds. The first compound is ethyl, the second is ethyl benzene, and the third is diethyl benzene. Okay, these three compounds we enter to the BC column. BC column is the benzene column. And so at the top of the BC column, we produce the benzene. Benzene will go back to the alkylation reactor. So the bottom of the BC we go to the second column, we know as TB column. TB column is the ethyl benzene column. Okay, for the top of the ethyl benzene column, 
it will produce the active benzene the product we want so the so the bottom of the active benzene column we produce di and tri active benzene so we fit into the third column that's the PEB PEB is the polyethylene polyethylene benzene column the okay, polyethylene benzene column at the top of the this column we produce the di and tri active benzene and we go to the transplation transcalation reactor so from the bottom why the bottom discharge which producing the heavy ethyl benzene compound that beside di and tri ethyl benzene will becoming the flux oil so basically the overall step we undergo the same process again again and again until we get the desired amount of the product we want that's the ethyl benzene that's it thank you of the feed, temperature and catalyst. The, mo the most important factor is catalyst. The catalyst I will explain is later. Okay. The first factor is concentration of the feed. High concentration of feed will increase production yield. The second is temperature. If, the, if this process involves of only in optimal temperature, the product will the product will be affect causing causing a decrease in production yield. The last factor is catalyst. Catalyst used in this process is zeolite. Catalyst is fu the function of catalyst is as an alternative route for the process to speed up the rate of reaction. When the rate of reaction increase, the production rate will increase because production may form at a short time. 